Hello, and welcome to the Great Plains Nature Center. My name's Alan, I'm a naturalist here, and I'm gonna be telling you today about animal habitats. Now the term habitat is probably something that you're already familiar with at this point. We might define it as an animal's home, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. It's not just where they live, it's also where they find everything that they need to survive. Let's think about this for a second. What does your home look like? Do you have a place in your house where you can find everything you need to be able to survive? For example, do you have a place in your home where you can find food? Do you have a place in your home where you can find water? Maybe you can turn on a tap or a faucet? Do you have a place in your home where you can find shelter? Does your home have walls and windows and a roof? Do you have a bed you sleep in? And also, does your home have some space in it? Do you have some space where you can get away from other people living in your home for a while? And does your home itself have a little bit of room between it and places where other people live? A person's home hopefully has all four of those things. And those are the exact same four things that an animal would need in their habitat in order to survive. Food, water, shelter, and space. Now, just because all animals need the same things out of their habitat doesn't mean that every single animal's habitat looks the same. Just as there are a huge variety of animals, there's a huge variety of habitats for them. All these places are very different in the kinds of things they offer to animals. So let's take a look at some of the main habitat types in Kansas. We're gonna be exploring grasslands, woodlands, wetlands, and riparian areas. Grasslands are covered with hundreds of kinds of grasses, weeds, and wildflowers. This isn't like the grass at your home or school though. These plants can grow tall, maybe even taller than you. These wide open habitats are home to a broad range of animals, from tiny beetles and grasshoppers, to birds and lizards, to bison, the largest animals in North America. Woodlands are dominated by trees of all different sizes, some short, some medium, some tall. This creates a habitat with a lot of different levels. There are animals who thrive on the forest floor, some that live way up in the treetops, and some that even live inside the trees themselves. Did you know that all these kinds of animals live in a woodland? Wetlands are habitats that are covered with water at least part of the time. This might include lakes or ponds, but it also includes things like swamps and marshes. They have special plants and animals adapted to water life, both above and below the surface. Riparian areas are habitats along the edges of rivers and streams that are important to certain animals, but also help other habitat types to thrive. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little bit today about the diversity in Kansas habitats. Coming up soon, your teacher is going to be leading you in an activity where you'll explore both the differences and the similarities between your home, your habitat, and the habitat of an animal. Then you're gonna be meeting a naturalist from Great Plains Nature Center live in your classroom. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about the kinds of animals that occupy all the different habitats in Kansas, and you'll even get to meet one. Looking forward to seeing you soon.